Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Started the new year off with a couple of appointments that I think are, are worth sharing. Essentially, to the exact same situation when it came to their businesses. Their businesses are doing extremely well, um, both completely separate kinds of businesses, and they make a lot of money. So I'll give you a scenario. These obviously are not true scenarios. And if you're one of my clients that were in one of those meetings watching this, don't worry, I'm not gonna use any real numbers or anything like that, just the scenario itself. So you have two businesses, both businesses make $100,000. In one instance, the shareholder takes out $40,000 out of their company. Now that's fantastic from an accounting perspective um, because we can tax plan for that. We can keep them under the first tax bracket, uh, 42.5. Uh, we can, uh, 42.5 for dividends, okay? Uh, the actual uh, bracket's more like 49,000. Or we can bump that up to the top of the second tax bracket, at 98,000 and for maybe future planning, okay? The whole idea is to keep your income down, keep your taxes down. And that's a great scenario to have. And this person didn't need any more money to live, uh, both uh, that person and their spouse um, both make good money. So they didn't, uh, and, and, and their situation doesn't uh, require them to need more money for their personal living. So they didn't take out more money than, than the 40 grand. Okay, good idea. Second scenario is, uh, let's say it's the same amount of money that they made, $100,000. So they make $100,000. And this in this scenario, they take out $100,000. Okay. Now, is that the right thing to do from a tax perspective? No. But... From a life perspective, you do whatever you want, okay? You own your business. If you want to spend all of your money from your business in your personal stuff, buying uh, fancy cars or vacations or whatever it is, you go right ahead. Um, that is completely up to you. But don't expect any tax planning, okay? But you have that. There's only so long that you can defer to, uh, paying taxes on those money. Keep that in mind when you're taking money out of your corporation. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's not wrong. It just doesn't allow your accountant to do what they need to do. If you want to go on vacations and you want to buy fancy cars and that's what makes you happy, then that's what you should do, regardless of how much money you're saving uh, with taxes. Okay. Taxes is just one variable in, in, in life. You don't have to save taxes. I highly recommend it and I can help you do that but you need to curb your own spending before any tax planning can actually happen. So if you're not talking to me, make sure you're talking to your accountant and uh, make sure you're maximizing your benefits and also maximizing your life because that's more important. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends and be well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all of which are linked in the description below. We're more than just an accounting firm. We do business consulting and media creation for our small businesses. Consider checking us out. It would really mean a lot. Hope to see you soon.